Welcome back to another video guys. Yeah, so today I'm going to show you how to clean a soft top roof basically. I'm going to do it on the, uh, the Ford KR. I've bought some actual uh, decent Meguiar's soft top convertible rooftop cleaner. And um, yeah, so hopefully it should be really good. It's a uh, one bottle's in a cleaner and then one bottle's like, a, I'd imagine like a waterproofer. So the water, it's like a polish if you like for soft top convertibles so that it uh, makes the, the roof actually much cleaner. But the reason we're doing it, like I said in the previous videos, the roof is quite mouldy and uh, does need some cleaning. So we're gonna hopefully get these stains out and get a lot of this out. We've got little bits of mould here and then we've got bits of mould just here basically all along here if you can see that. So it's not very good, lots of stains and marks. And then we're gonna do this, roof, uh, this uh, rear window. Um, it's just made of like a plasty, sort of uh, window and uh, it's all fogged up and scratched obviously over the years where it's been marred and uh, hopefully we're going to get this all looking nice and clean and uh, yeah like I said I've got some decent Maguire stuff to actually do it all and hopefully uh, it should look really pretty it should look pretty good once it's done uh, we've got a little brush just got a little brush basically to um, actually clean it with and they say that you need to clean it in straight lines and not in circles and try to not push down too hard where the window is so hopefully it should be all right um so yeah we're going to give this a go and see if it works and hopefully something you guys can try if you've got a soft top that's got mold on it it's been sitting around for a while it is just about to um obviously we're, we're in october at the minute so it's just about to sort of enter the sort of winter period so hopefully we want to try and make this roof last because obviously these are quite expensive to replace. We don't want to put a hard top on it, we want to keep the soft top. And um, yeah, so we want to obviously make sure it lasts and, and it's weatherproof for the for a few years to come. So hopefully this should do the job pretty well. I think all the bits in total were about £30. Pound. Um, so £30 pound to, you know, revitalise your roof a little bit and make it look a lot nicer. And uh, just clean it up and get all that mould off it should, you know, be quite good in the long run for it and uh, yeah should just make it 10 times better so yeah like I say I've shown you what it looks like and then hopefully I'm going to wet it all down now I do need a towel just to dry it in between layers but hopefully it should be all good right guys yeah so we've uh, given the uh, soft top a good clean with the uh, the bristle brush just gone in straight lines basically no circles and then what we're going to use is some of this Meguiar's convertible top cleaner just try and get that into all the stains that are on the roof so all these marks here uh, we've got a lot of the mold and the uh, the grime out of it already but there is still some on this and I just want to that's only done it with the water so I'm going to try and use this stuff and uh, see if we can get a better result so this is uh, stage one of the cleaning and uh, yeah it's coming up pretty manky as you can see after I've given it a wash just with the uh, water and yeah it seems to be working this Maguire stuff's pretty good so I'm just going to rinse this off now you can see how manky and yellow it is and uh, yeah hopefully we've uh, got most of those stains out but it's looking really good for a first wash I'd say and uh, the brush is doing really, really well. You can see how manky that is. That's supposed to be white. And uh, hopefully we should get some really nice results. I can see some of the stains on top still. So we're gonna go over that with a bit more. I'm just gonna use this whole bottle pretty much and just keep going, because this is all it's used for. I haven't got any other conver convertible cars to use this stuff on, so I might as well use it on this. That's what I bought it for. And uh, looking at this side, it's really nice. It's come up real clean. There's no more mold on this edge here. And uh, along these edges here, when I showed you before. So yeah, pretty happy with that, pretty decent. They're the only marks that I can see that's still left. So I'll go over this bit again. I knew that bit was quite quite bad, but we'll go over it again. Okay guys, so I've hit this the, uh, the third time in the center of it. The rest of the roof looks really, really good. And it's done a really good job of it. I've just put um, another layer actually in the middle of the roof here so I'm just letting that soak in and then we're gonna hit it with a brush again and uh, hopefully 
this should get the rest of those stains out. If not, it's just one of them. I have got a little bit more on the bottle left and I could probably hit the whole roof again. But um, yeah, it's pretty decent stuff and it's actually made the roof look really nice for what it is. And uh, some of the stains you'd, you'd think you'd never be able to get those out of the fabric, but it's actually done really well. And uh, like I say, just using a brush and um, just scrubbing it by direction rather than in circles and uh, yeah it's looking really good I'm really happy with it and it's uh, worked really well like I say I'm gonna hit this now give this a good scrub again and hopefully we get those the remainder of the uh, stains out So just a bit of an update for you guys. So yeah, we've been busy working on the car. We've got most of the mechanical work done. What we've been and done as well, we've gone and bought some new wheels. So we've got this set here. Whole new set of uh, Street KA wheels with really decent tires on them. Because as you know, one of the tires was buckled and one was nearly worn past its limit. So we've got a full set of them. That will replace the two really bad ones. And then we've taken off the cage just there as well, the spare wheel cage. So we're going to put a full size wheel basically in the actual boot of the car. So we've got a full size decent tyre and wheel that's the same size because the wheel that comes on this is a 14 steel wheel. Which I think is that one there. You can see it's a lot smaller. Um, yeah, so we're going to put that in the car. So we've got a like I say, we want a decent full size wheel in the car, not some steel wheel that's two inches smaller. And uh, it gets it from underneath the car as well, so that it's not actually um, getting mucky and dirty. So, and it's harder to take off if you're outside of the road. So, we can just pull it out of the boot and we're good to go. The other updates we've got is like I say, we've done all the poly bushes, we've got the poly bushes on the rear axles, they're done. Um, they are PSB bushes. I've never seen them before, thought I'd give them a go. They're on eBay, they're problem solving bushes, they're called. Um, so yeah, I thought we'd give them a go and they seem to be good. They've done the job. They're half the price of what Powerflex are. Cause, like I said, we just wanted to do the cheap mods that we can to this car to get it done. We've done the drums and we've done the front brake calipers at the front in just like a hammerite blue new discs, new pads, all done here. And then we've painted all the rust on the inside of the car here as well. And then we've just painted all the front slam plate down here, just a blue that we got from Halfords. The radiator has been flushed as well. And the oil has been changed with a new sump plug, oil filter, fuel filter has been done. And so like I say, brake pa pads and calipers, uh, the calipers haven't been done, sorry. The pads and discs. The, um, what else was there? I think that's about it. That was the majority of the work like, like we wanted to get done. The fuel filter and the oil filter was absolutely disgusting. They looked like they're the originals on the car. Um, so yeah, that's the update really guys. So the car is looking really good and it's coming along really nicely. I've cleaned it several times since I've had it. Just needed to clean that soft top roof, which is what I'm showing you today and uh, it's coming out fantastic. I think all those stains are gone. I've got to let this dry because you can see them better when it's dry. And uh, then we'll tackle that, the fogginess, the haziness on that rear window. I've got the Meguiar's Plasti R that should get rid of it. It's supposed to be for like headlights as well as like um, for any sort of fogginess on plastic. So that's it there. You can't really see because they've got a sticker on it. So it's this stuff here. And then, like I say, we've got the soft top convertible cleaner. And then this is the stuff that weatherproofs your roof after you've cleaned it. So it's in a spray can. So I've never used this stuff before. And 
I can trust Meguiar's. Meguiar's is a really good product. I like to use their stuff on most of my most of my cars anyway. So I find that using with cleaning chemicals, you buy cheap. You don't really get good results from a lot of it unless you're buying just shampoo. But even then, it's not fantastic. So it doesn't last as long. It's worth spending that extra money. So yeah, cars looking really good, and uh, it's coming along nicely for the rally. So hopefully, we should. Um, get cracking on with all the little silly mods oh also i bought a box to go on the rear of the boot so that we can store more stuff in it it's quite a big box so we might have to modify the size of it it's 80 mil by 60 mil by 40 mil so it is quite big and it's probably going to overlap the boot um, it's just a small aluminium box basically but it should probably cover most of this boot area we just don't need to get in the way of the, uh, the soft top roof and then hopefully we should have a nice big box on the back of here so we can store all our extra bits that we want to take with us because as you know this is just a two-seater car so space is quite limited and with the spare wheel going in the boot we're losing half our boot there so yeah that should be quite handy to have and then other than that it's just silly things like we've got a wrap that's going on the car and then we want to stick led lights in it and things like that one of the speakers is also out on the driver's door uh, so we need to investigate that at some point But other than that, yeah, car's coming really nicely. It's all nice and clean um, It's not perfect. I do want to compound polish the actual bodywork because there are some marks in the uh, I think in the lacquer and uh, Just give it a good, good nice uh, sort of decent layer of wax with that Simonez wax and Get it prepped for winter basically because it's gonna be sitting here probably for the most of winter and uh, just want to look after it and make sure all this work we've put into it is worthwhile and it doesn't get ruined by the winter and uh, obviously go all horrible because we've got a lot of trees around us so as you can see behind me um, you know it's like with trees and cars sap and uh, the leaves get all over them getting on all the grills and make them all manky again so yeah so the car is coming on really nicely and uh, yeah thank you for watching guys if you like the video leave a like and uh, if you're new around here subscribe i've got plenty more content to come and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.